how are we all doing again? Um, it's just Stipe back here to do an update on the Tecastrone, Ectostrone kind of combination that I've been using. Um, this would be just slightly above four weeks in totality of me using it, um, which is to say that if there is any effects from it, this is basically when you kind of start seeing them, or at least that's the standard way that people have approached this. Um, th this week has been probably the most in terms of changes that I've seen. Um, I've had the same type of stuff go up, the same type of stuff go down. So I've been able to actually start lifting more upper body. Um, and I'll show, hopefully, I'm trying to learn how to, you know, record things and put in pictures and everything. I'm not really good with technology, if I'm being honest with you. I'm very, I'm young, but I'm very old school in that sense. But um, if there is a picture, hopefully it'll be somewhere up fucking here. Maybe it'll cover my whole face. I don't know. Um, in terms of my weight, I originally was 89 kg when I started. Now, I did lean down a lot. Um, so a lot of water was out of my body. When I started taking Turk and Ecti, had to basically stop training upper body, couldn't do as much cardio. So I'm not draining as much calories from my diet, from exercise. My calories went up. Um, we still able to train legs, do a little bit of upper body. But if you can see the picture, that is the picture of me at 95.9 kilograms. Um, I'm natural. I haven't taken anything ever in my life. Um, I not saying that sound cool. I'm not saying that because I think I'm very muscular, just being very blatant with you. Um, the only thing I've ever tried was a few years ago, I took the Sam MK677, um, and that was without working out. It was literally just because of the supposed healing benefits for when I had back pain. Um, it just made me hungry. That's all it did. But anyways, if you can see that picture, to me, that really is the example of something that works. I just don't see how it wouldn't work. Yeah, that's with a little bit of a pump, sure, but I'm barely training. Like when I say barely training upper body, I mean, with that picture taken, within a month, I train maybe three or four training sessions upper body, and they're all like 20 to 30 minutes long at fuck all weight. Like, I mean, fuck all, like 20 kilo max for like. You know, I think I did 22 was the highest I went for any type of benching activity, like in terms of chest, shoulders. So look, does it work in terms of building mass? I think it does. Um, how it is that it does that, I'm not going to go into some science here. That's not the point of this. The point of this is to kind of show you as somebody who's not supported by any company, just a random dude with fucking no subscribers. What are my results? Like, did I get anything? Um, do I find changes? Because I don't think this is as simple as day one, day 60, done. Things happen in between. Um, this is the most important part that I'm going to talk about. If you have followed my previous videos, you would know that I've mentioned my hunger going through the roof. What I decided to do three days ago was stop taking ectostrone and continue taking tekestrone because I have a suit event coming up soon. I don't want to have to get a brand new suit because I can't fit my old one. Um, that's honestly the main reason I did that because to me, it's like, I just don't want to spend another $400 on a suit for a one-off when I don't plan to be that size in my general you know, day anyways. And the second I switched to Turk only, so two capsules Turk, two capsules Turk at night, the hunger issues kind of just disappeared. Um, I was able to do 2,500 two days ago, 2,500 yesterday. It's currently 5.33 p.m. here in Western Australia. I'm on maybe 1,300, not feeling hungry. When the natural roads, um, this drone is in my body, especially if I take two of these in the morning and then leave Turk for night, I'm literally hungry throughout the whole fucking day. Like, I mean, I'll eat a big meal and I'll just be thinking about food nonstop. And usually I'm very mentally strong at kind of pushing through that. But this just, it's otherworldly how I'm hungry, maybe. Which isn't a negative necessarily. For me, it is. But for you, it might be the biggest fucking positive ever. Um, I've been told once again by other people that my facial hair is growing very quickly. Um, I shaved just before. I noticed even just by looking at one week ago off a review I did, how much my hair has already grown. Like, yeah, that's really, really quick. Like from a haircut, how quickly it's grown. 
Um, those are, I guess, some of the more intriguing elements that have happened. For strength, I'm still noticing my strength go up. I returned to upper body. I probably shouldn't have done this, but I got really excited. I did incline chest press, for instance, with 34 kg for 18 repetitions. You know, good controlled reps as well. There was no cheating, no nothing. Um, I feel like I'm still somewhat lean without, you know, like losing that effect of somebody who maybe you can tell lifts a bit. Um, those are, I guess, the key features. Now, how long do I plan on using this for? Um, I've got that suited event coming up in November. So I'm just hoping I've got enough testosterone. I think I do till early November. And then I've got a little bit, as you can tell, not a lot left of this drone from Metroids. I'll finish off with that. And then I'll probably chuck in some additional changes that I've noticed maybe happen when I switch to just Ectostrone. Because I'm, I'm thinking if two pills of Ecti makes me hungry like a motherfucker, I'm really hoping four doesn't just make me want to eat my fucking house. Um, that may or may not happen. Um, all right, those are the key components of the Turk and the Ecti. I can't really think of any more. Um, endurance is up, strength is up, sleep is good. For the most part, I work a hectic schedule, so that makes it hard sometimes to sleep. Um, I do have an important thing that I'll be reviewing, which never planned on or anything like that, but it, just with injuries, and that's a combination of BPC, uh, TB500, Ipamorelin, and CJC. I started taking that about, a, I, wanna, I wanna say nine days ago, but it might be 10 or 11 now. Um, and yeah, they, I'm gonna put it out there, it's been some interesting effects from taking that. So if you are interested in that, please do tell me. Um, I'll make sure I'll cover anything anyone needs to. All right, hope everybody had a good day. Peace, and I'll be back with my review for the fifth week, okay?